In the previous video lecture, we already discussed regarding memory performance followed by interleaving concept and miss rate and miss penalty concepts and how we can improve hit rate. So in the present video lecture, we will discuss about virtual memory and address translation using paging concept. Generally, the size of the main memory is small compared to the address space generated by the processor. For example, if a processor issues 32-bit addresses has an address space around 2 power 32. If the processor issues 32-bit address, if the processor issues 32-bit address, so then, then, uh, then it consisting of around 2 power 32 addressable locations within the memory. So 2 power 32 is all, almost equal to 4 GB. It's equal to 4 GB. But the size of the main memory is of the order of megabytes. Thus, a large portion may not completely fit into the main memory. So the parts of the program currently not being executed are stored on the secondary storage. So since the size of the main memory is comparatively small, we cannot fit all the programs or informations within the main memory. For that, for that, we can make use of a larger memory space. So that is called as secondary storage. The parts of the program currently not being executed. Such programs can be stored on the secondary storage. When a new segment of the program is to be moved into main memory, it must replace another segment currently residing in the memory. While copying the new segment or information from the secondary storage into the main memory, we have to, uh, we have to overwrite some segments current, which are currently residing within, within the memory. This is automatically carried out by the operating system. Thus, the application programmer need not be concerned with the physically available memory. Hence, the application programmer visualizes the memory as a very large storage available where all, all the programs can reside or store within, within the physical memory itself. This leads to the concept called as virtual memory. System creates a large contiguous memory space for each program. Therefore, the processor can refer instructions or data space independent of the available physical main memory space. The binary addresses that, that the address, addresses issued by the processor are called as physical address. The binary addresses that the processor issues are called as either the logical or virtual addresses. The logical addresses is translated into the physical address. So the address which was given initially with respect to the virtual memory, so that address is called as logical address. So these logical address then need to be converted into a physical address, into a physical address using hardware or software approach. If a virtual address refers to a part of the program or data space currently in the physical memory, then the content can be accessed immediately. So if you know the physical address, we can directly access the information. If, uh, if the referenced address is not in the main memory, so suppose the processor issues some address in order to read the information and thus such address if it is available in the main memory. So that means the referenced address is available in the main memory. In such instance, the processor can directly access the information. But the reference address is not available in the main memory. 
memory. In such instance, the contents must be brought into a suitable memory locations from the secondary storage into the main memory. So we can observe that uh, in the case of virtual memory, we need to have a special unit called as memory management unit. In short, we can call it as MMU, memory management unit or MMU. So a special hardware unit called as MMU or memory management unit, which translates the virtual address into physical address. So this the task of MMU is nothing but it will translate virtual address into physical address. The translation of virtual address into the physical address will be done by a special, or special hardware unit called as memory management unit. If the data are not in the main memory, the MMU causes the operating system to bring the data into main memory from the disk. The data transfer between main memory and the disk is carried out using DMA technique. Once again, here also the data block can be exchanged between main memory and the disk. Disk in the sense, the secondary storage by considering the concept of DMA. So that is direct memory access. Physical address versus virtual address. Physical addresses refer to hardware addresses of physical memory. Virtual addresses refer to the virtual store viewed by the processor. So the binary addresses that the processor issues are called as logical or virtual addresses. The logical addresses is then translated into physical address using a block or unit called as memory management unit. So each and every virtual address or address translation will be done with respect to a special hardware unit called as MMU. So this MMU, it will translate the virtual address into a physical address. Physical address. If the logical address is translated into physical address using hardware or software approach, and the virtual address referred to a part of the program or data space currently in the physical memory. Then the content can be accessed immediately. If it is not so, such contents must be brought into a suitable memory location from the, main, uh, from the secondary storage into the main memory. So while exchanging the data between, uh, between main memory and between the main memory and the disk, suppose if this is a main memory and the disk may be either RAID or any secondary storage, in short I will take it as secondary storage itself. So exchange of information, it will be by considering a technique called as DMA concept. That means direct memory access in terms of blocks. So what is the meaning of virtual memory? The term virtual memory refers to something which appears to be present but actually it is not. The virtual memory technique allows user to use more memory for a program than a real memory of a computer. So virtual memory allows the programmer or user in order to use more memory space than than the real memory of a computer. So virtual memory is the concept that gives the illusion to the user that they will have memory, main memory equal to the capacity of secondary storage media. So that means, so in the case of if you are considering the virtual memory concept, so we can assume that we are having huge set of capacity in order to store the data and which may be equivalent to the capacity of secondary storage media. So we'll consider memory, virtual memory organization. So in the case of virtual memory, so initially the virtual address space is to be mapped into physical address space before the processor can run the program. Before the processor can run the program. 
So here we can observe that we are having may MMU block, MMU block. So that is nothing but memory management unit which will translate the virtual address into the physical address. Initially, the processor will issue the processor will issue the virtual address and that virtual address will be converted into the physical address. If the desired data or instruction are in the main memory, the desired the virtual address will be checked with respect to the main memory now. That requested data or that means the desired data or instruction are in the main memory. So in such instant, the data or information can directly fetch from the main memory. If the desired data is not available in the main memory, so at that instant from the disk storage or secondary storage, the desired data or information need to be brought into the main memory. MMU causes the operating system to bring the data from the secondary storage into the main memory. Virtual addresses will be translated into the physical address. The virtual memory mechanism bridges the size and space speed gap between the main memory and the secondary storage similar to cache. So here we can observe that the actual data can be exchanged between the processor as well as the cache or cache and the main memory and if the data is not available in within the main memory so the data can be copied from the secondary disk storage into the main memory so later processor can fetch the data from the main memory the addresses generated by the processor is referred to as a virtual or logical address as I mentioned before, the processor will issue the address and that address is referred as virtual or logical address. The virtual address is translated into physical address by MMU. During every memory cycle, MMU determines whether the addressed word is in the memory. If the word is in the memory, then the word is accessed as well as execution will be continued. Otherwise, a page containing desired word is transferred from the disk to the memory. Using DMA scheme, the transfer of data between disk as well as memory can be performed. An example of pages and page frames. So first we will consider virtual address and the address varies from 0 to 1023. The next address is 1024 to 2047. So next is 2048 to 3071 and 3072 to and so on. So here we will consider virtual memory. So now we will consider virtual memory. Virtual memory with pages from page 0, page 1, page 2 and so on and page 7. So next I will consider physical memory. So next is physical memory. So I can consider page frame 0, page frame 0, page frame 1, so on page frame 3 frame 3 so here the page table contains the information about which page is available in the main memory at any given time so the concept of pages and page frames can be considered here so now i can say that the page 0 
is nothing but page zero, page page frame zero, page one in the physical memory, page one, and and page seven is once again mapped into page two. I can say. So this is how this is how we can consider the virtual memory. How exactly it is mapped with respect to the physical memory. So once again, we are having the physical address, the physical address, like zero two thousand twenty three and thousand twenty four to two zero four seven and so on and three zero seven two two four zero nine five. So I can say that we are having limited physical address while compared with the virtual address. Virtual memory implementation using paging. So in the case of virtual memory, the entire physical memory can be divided into individual blocks or called as pages. So the typical size of individual pages may vary from 4 KB to 16 KB. So we can say that the virtual address is a combination of virtual page number followed by offset value, as well as so that is the virtual address is nothing but virtual page number plus offset. Similarly, physical address is nothing but physical page number plus offset value. So we know that we are having a single controller which is called as MMU. and this mmu maps virtual pages to the physical pages mmu which will map virtual to virtual pages to the physical pages use page map to perform translation causes a page fault or mess if virtual page is not resides in the physical memory in such cases the respective pages need to be brought from the secondary storage into the main memory using main memory as a page cache so we can perform paging or demand paging concept so the diagram shows how virtual memory address translation method can be implemented using fixed length pages each virtual address generated by the processor is composed of two parts higher order bits indicates virtual page number so higher order bit specifies the virtual page number and lower order bits specifies the displacement or offset field so each virtual address consisting of two parts the lower order bit specifies specifies the uh, offset value and higher order bit specifies the virtual page number the offset field of the logical address specifies the location of a particular byte so this offset the offset field specifies the location of particular byte within within the within the page so offset field specifies specifies the location of location of particular byte particular byte or i can say either it may be word also within a page the page number indexes into a page table so the page number virtual page number which is connected to a page table so this is the page table for each page the page table stores the main memory address for each page the page table stores stores the page table stores the main memory address main memory address page table stores 
the main memory address where the page is stored and the current status of the page as well as the current status of the page an idea in the main memory that can hold one page is called as page frame so page frame is nothing but page frame is nothing but an area in the main memory page frame is nothing but page frame is nothing but an area in the main memory where we can store where we can store one page so that is called as page frame starting addresses of the page table is kept in a single register called as page table base register so the starting address so we are using a special register called as page table base register page table base register which holds the starting address of the page table so that holds that holds starting address of starting address of page table starting address of the page table so we we know that page table base register that is ptbr the virtual page number is added to the content of page table base register so we are we know that page table base register holds the starting address of the page table so now we can add virtual page number to this value virtual virtual page number plus ptbs that is page table base register so so that we can get the address of the corresponding entries in the page table so we can get the if you are having the starting address will be stored in the register to that we can add virtual page number to get the different entries within the page table so the content of these locations are added to the offset to generate the physical address in the main memory so later these contents that means page table base register plus virtual page number so these contents of this location are added to the offset offset in order to generate the physical address the page table also includes control bits to describe the status of each page in the main memory so we are having some control bits like valid bit control bit like you can say that valid bit to specify whether the referred page is actually loaded in the main memory or not if the value of valid bit is 1 the value of valid bit is set to 1 then the page is in the main memory so so we can use physical page number to construct the addresses and get the data if valid bit is 0 if this bit is 0 that means the referred data is or page is not available within the main memory so in such instance page fault may page is the requested page is not available so that means page fault that means page fault error may arise so in order to overcome from this so we can copy the data or uh, respective pages from the secondary storage into the main memory so along with this valid bit it also consisting of a modified or dirty bit in order to show whether the pages has been modified when it is residing in the main memory so along with valid bit we are having one more bit called as modified bit modified bit or dirty bit in order to identify whether the respective pages are modified in the within the main memory or not